Okay, now you see it's starting to level. The smoke is coming down. It'll seek its own level with the heat. And with the escape from the air gone, as the smoke approaches, you're still able to communicate and you're still able to breathe. It's unbelievable. It's been my experience in over 30 years of firefighting that people are not ready when an emergency occurs in their home or their place of business or even traveling on the road. Things happen suddenly and you're caught without any kind of protection. They are quickly overcome by smoke. A product like the escaper mask can solve a number of problems for you and give you time. To me, the most important thing is the escaper mask itself, but the goggles are amazing. They seem to be low tech, but they're actually very high tech. They don't fog and smoke doesn't get into your eyes and hurt you that way. So you put them on, you put the escaper mask on, and off you go. The whistle's good in a large area, so you can signal other people, and the little flashlight works extremely well even in smoke. The escaper mask and these goggles can make a major difference in saving your life at a fire. It's a small price to pay to stay alive. People have no idea how disorientating a smoke condition can be, uh, how difficult it is, even in an area that you're familiar with in regular daylight. You're not going to know where you are, you're not familiar with your, your surroundings, and that element of panic begins to set in because you can't breathe. But the worst thing is going on inside your body. Your lungs start filling up with carbon monoxide and other parts of the combustion of the smoke, and that transfers to your blood, and you begin to starve yourself of oxygen. You begin to get a headache, you feel drowsy, and you just want to go to sleep. You're on your way to death. The escaper package comes with the escaper mask, probably the most important part of the package. It allows you to breathe in heavy smoke conditions, and it will save your life. We use nothing but the finest in spring water whenever we extinguish a fire. Nice, look at that color. There you go, citizens. All these years of fighting fires, I've become a fanatic myself. I'm the kind of person that gets on an airplane and I count exit rows so I know how to get out. I'm the kind of person that goes to a theater and I check where the fire exits are. At first, my wife thought I was crazy. She's now sure I'm crazy, but she's come over and she's decided to do these things as well. And you can go and do a lot of things in your life, but all of a sudden an emergency starts. If you haven't been paying attention to where you're going or what you're doing, you could end up in some serious trouble. I carry an escaper mask in my bag when I travel, on a train, in an airplane. If I worked in an office building, I would have one by my side. I've seen people come out of high-rise office building fires with tissues over their nose. It doesn't work. An escaper mask works. The amazing thing about it is you can't put it on wrong. You can't put it on upside down. You can't put it... The amazing thing about it is you can't put it on wrong. You can't put it on upside down. You can't put it on inside out. You just put it on and it works. You can't beat that. The escaper mask protects the vent against both carbon monoxide and smoke particulates. The carbon monoxide can kill you over time. The smoke can incapacitate you almost immediately. 